Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, and thank you for tuning in to another installment of the ETCG Dad's Truck Series. In this episode, we will be installing that engine that we put together in previous episodes, along with my new monster transmission in ETCG Dad's Truck. Uh, I started out by masking things off to try to prevent any debris or anything from getting down inside the engine. Uh, other than that, I have some tips, tricks, and some methods that you could possibly use if you're installing an engine and transmission in your vehicle, in particular, if you're installing one into a GMT 400 truck. But I'm done talking, let's get to the action already in progress. Now take it away, Eric. I just thought of a name for the engine. You ready? DT 383. Dad's truck. DT 383. I'm going to use the middle hole to get it off the stand but I plan to install engine and transmission simultaneously. Uh, so I'll move to the rear hole and that will help support. One day, these two are gonna get along or I'm just gonna replace one of them. I kinda like the hoist because that rolls really easy. Well, first of all, I think I'm putting this on backwards. Yep, I'm putting it on backwards. Come back here. Stop going away. I did mention I like my uh, engine hoist because of how easy it rolled. It's not doing me any favors right now. I'm gonna do something that you're probably not gonna like, but I have a thought, and this keeps me from having to mess with that whole bit as far as trying to hold this thing while I try to you know, use a torque wrench, blah, blah, blah. This works on wheels, it should work on this. Torque on this is 65 foot-pounds. Torque for this torque stick is also 65 foot-pounds. Try and stop me. Okay viewers, I'm stopping things right here for a moment to inject a little bit useful information. I learned a hard lesson here. In other words, I just did something wrong and I'm gonna pass that information on to you so you don't have to make the same mistake. Now you just saw me put some of the ARP lubricant on the uh, bolts that hold the flex plate onto the crankshaft. That is a no-no. Uh, and as far as the impact thing, no, that, that didn't have anything to do with it because if you read the ARP instructions for this particular application, it says says put Loctite on those bolts before installation. I found this out the hard way. I took this out for its initial test drive, got back and heard an engine knock and was pretty darn disappointed. Not only that I had an engine knock, but I had to remove the engine, go back, remove all those fasteners, clean up the threads, install Loctite onto them and put it all back together. But you don't have to wait to see that in future videos. You can know that right now that if you are installing a flex plate on the back of your engine, particularly if you're using ARP fasteners like I was, be sure to read the instructions for your application. As I said, in this particular application, install Loctite on the threads and to torque to 80 foot-pounds, which I went back and later did. I don't think the impact had anything to do with it, although using a torque stick in that way, mm, maybe that wasn't the right way to go. Either way, Loctite, torque to spec, do it that way. You shouldn't have any issues. Back to the video.
I am equally excited about my new monster transmission, which is a 4L60E. You may or may not have seen some of the prep for this yet, as far as installing the transmission controller and everything. Um, once this is installed, I plan to go over setup and start up and all that other kind of stuff. The engine's electronic, this is electronic. Uh, I think it'll be perfect for this application. So I'm going to fill up the torque converter with at least one quart of transmission fluid take this front uh, brace off and move it forward. The fact that this is up a little bit may work to my advantage because I don't want to ding up my new oil pan there. See if we can mate these two things up so they can go down into the truck as one. Also included with my monster transmission was Thor, the torque converter. It has a name, Thor. Oh, look at that. I almost don't want to like put this inside the transmission, you know, cause it's so pretty. Ah, excellent, bolts. I was hoping for those, I was really hoping for those. We'll need those when we attach these two things together or else the truck's not gonna get very far. This is the uh, transmission fluid I'm using. All this will have links somewhere in the description, so check there. But you never wanna put a torque converter on a transmission without any fluid in it. And just for good measure, this is the O-ring that goes around the, uh, or that is for the lockup part of the converter. I wanna make sure that's nice and lubricated. Whoa. Sorry, Thor. Did you already have fluid in you? Ah, uh, no, you didn't. You just need to get all up in those nooks and crannies. Drink your fluid, Thor. Drink up. Okay, that's the whole court. Sadly, I don't know the stall speed of Thor. It's not a high, I didn't ask for a high stall speed. I asked for something like 1500, 2000 RPM, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, I'm driving this on the street. I don't know if you've ever driven like a car with like a 3000 or higher stall converter. Yeah, it launches like nobody's business and it'll snap your neck, but it's, Kind of not so fun to drive on the street like that. Well, if you're into that sort of thing, and I'm not gonna judge, but all right, now that we've got a quart of trans fluid in there, gonna mate it up with a transmission. The important thing here is to keep spinning it and make sure it bottoms all the way out in the bell housing, because if it doesn't, well, that could be a problem just because this keyway's gotta line up with the pump in the front. So you've gotta make sure everything goes together in order for everything to work like it should. That might be it. Yeah. Thor is engaged. I like that my torque converter has a name. I just, I'm so tickled by that. Let's see how close this gets. Excuse me. Huh. This is brilliant. And Am I a good guesser or what? I mean, seriously. You just need to come up just a little bit. Yes, I hate using these old ugly bolts. <laughs> That's just how it worked out. If you were wondering, the torque on those bolts is supposed to be 25-ish um, foot-pounds, I believe. I didn't expect things to go like this. I expected like have to set the engine down on the floor and all this other. I think what I can do 
is lift it up a little bit, move it back on this uh, pallet. In fact, I'll remove this and this. Move this whole thing back on the pallet, set it down on the pallet as engine and transmission, move my hook, and we'll be ready to install it in the truck. There is that issue. Maybe. It's not lifting up in the back as much as I'd hoped. Let's get a truck, our bag of bolts, and the cross brace for the transmission, and a floor jack. It's a lot easier to push this way than the other way. Got the floor jack for the back of the transmission and the small wood block to go into the tail shaft so I can lift it up and put the uh, cross brace underneath it. And I have all the bolts and everything ready to go. You're gonna like your new home. Oh, it's looking nice. Although, don't worry about my fuel pressure regulator. Bam, sugar, bam. That engine be in there. Now I gotta hook up the transmission. But first, I'm gonna put the bolts through. it's gonna go. We just need to move that transmission mount.
aside from tightening a couple of bolts, that engine transmission's in there. Yeah, I wanted this today. I needed this today. Let's uh, tighten this stuff up. And uh, now it's just a matter of hooking it all up. That's gonna go over that way. Cause I, even one of the side ones, it's not straight on, it's gotta go this way. That's the right one. That's straight down the middle. Much better than you. Three eighty three DT is officially installed, along with Thor and my monster transmission. And notice the theme of finned aluminum to finned aluminum with Thor in the middle. It's all part of the plan. Well, viewers, that is going to conclude this installment of the ETCG Dad's Truck Series. I want to thank you for tuning in and watching all the way to the end. I still have some more information for you. Anyway, if you're installing an engine and transmission in your vehicle, I hope that uh, this video offered you some useful insight into some things that might help you as far as how I move things around in order to get the engine into position and all that. I realize I have a lift, and not everybody out there has a lift, but you can do the same thing with jack stands. Be sure to be super careful with jack stands and floor jacks and type of thing but you can do all this stuff in the same way in fact in some ways it might actually help you just to have it at a given height and then move things around accordingly but just work slowly and methodically and be careful this stuff is heavy it could really hurt you if stuff stuff shifts or whatever so please be careful and diligent as you work doing this type of work if you may notice a gap between this video and the one that's going to follow it and the amount of work that was done and I apologize for that in advance I was under tremendous time constraints to get this truck done before the power tour so that my dad could drive it on the power tour in fact I did all this work suspension engine everything in about seven months so I just simply didn't have the time to, to shoot the video but I assure you that you will enjoy the upcoming episodes because we have some surprise guests uh, when this thing starts up for the first time which is going to be very soon in the series so keep watching that being said if you have questions about anything you saw parts tools any of that type of stuff please check the description I often link things there and if something's not there let me know and I will make sure I get that to you uh, there will also be a link to air at the car in the in the description which is where I ask you to go if you have automotive questions not covered in this video otherwise I want to thank you for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate it when you do that stuff be safe have fun stay dirty thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time